Everything. Let's go to our very first story today on trending stories. Here we have reports about the school feeding program. Some vendors of the federal government's homegrown school feeding program in Kara, local government area of Kaduna State, on Sunday complained that 35 naira was grossly inadequate to prepare a quality meal. And they've appealed to the government to increase, increase this from 50 naira to 100 naira. What do we make of this? Trend? Now, in social studies, we were taught that there are three basic necessities of life food, clothing, and shelter. Now, if you see a government that is committed, to ensuring that one of the basic necessities of life is one that they address and focus attention, then it's a welcome development. Now, if we look at the children of Nigeria, going by Nigeria's population demographics, and the fact that a lot of parents are not, you know, um, economically, they do not have the economic might or strength to cater to the needs of their children. Let's forget if they give birth to more children that they can take care of. But if you have a basic necessity of life, and government says, let us give children quality education because education is the bedrock of a nation's existence. And let us feed them, give them good food when they come to school. It is a plus. Now, the president, Mohamed Buhari led administration, has invested a lot in the school feeding program. But the feedback that we are getting from Kaduna and why we mirror Kaduna is because it's a reflection of what is obtainable in other parts of the states where you have the school feeding program. It's a shame that you want to feed a child with 35 naira. That is what the people are saying now, that you pay this at 35 naira and you want us to give them good food, balanced diet, vegetable, fish, crayfish, rice, beans. We cannot afford that. Now, the bane of government and governance looking at development in Nigeria is the fact that we start well, but we do not cross-check to see where we are making mistakes and so that we can consolidate. We have invested a lot in this school feeding program. And how many years down the line for the, for the um, um, vendors to come to tell us that 35 naira is not enough and they are running at a loss and so they have to cut down if we want to really feed these children. Then we need to look at those that we have given these funds to and ask them what they are doing with these funds. And before we start such things, we must do a critical study or survey to know how much we would expend when it comes to feeding children. It is pitiable that children have to go through this. But then let's ask ourselves a simple question. In Nigeria, we have had to contend with maladministration and a failure of leadership. And if the next generation that are the leaders of tomorrow, that are supposed to chart a course for development in this great country, are going through this particular uh, uh, situation, then it's really very, 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 it's, it's heartbreaking. It is very heartbreaking, considering the fact that we go back and forth all the time on exactly what percentage of the budget should be going towards education. 26%, am I correct? Yes. Now, we're looking at a case where for 2018, we're seeing a 4% budget. Now, this is a program that we've had in place for years before this. So, of course, it's going to come to light that this is a budget that cannot do anything for Nigerian students in school today. And quite frankly, it's a huge atrocity. But to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.